The 15 Most Cringe-Worthy Presidential Election Moments Presidential elections are always one of the most confusing times ever. Everything is so messed up that people can't decide who they should vote for. Each candidate is busy in leg-pulling of the other. And well, to be honest, sometimes these moments turn out to be really funny and embarrassing at the same time. Imagine standing in front of the entire crowd addressing them, and when they expect some killer speech and something does come out of your mouth, it's not quite the part of your speech. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Here's a list of 15 of the most cringeworthy presidential election moments. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for crazier yet amazing videos. Now, without further ado, let's start with our top picks. Number 15. Hillary's Terrible Answer Hillary Clinton took an aggregate of $675,000 for Goldman Sachs' three speeches. When she was asked to disclose the transcripts she provided, for which she first refuses and later defended the price tag by shouting, That's what they paid me! I'm not an expert, but that's definitely one should not say out loud. Number 14. Ben Carson Missing His Cue Ben Carson is like Ambien, you know, the drug, but that's taken human form. He's frequently seeming stunned and baffled during Republican conventions, offering illogical expressions about everything from prehistoric Egypt to how life resembles a salad. Wait, what? But nothing is comparable to the moment when during an ABC debate, Carson missed his signal to make that big appearance. It literally took a minute for the neurosurgeon to find the pedestal but it felt like an eternity. Number 13. Marco Rubio, Dirty Joke At a crusade rally in Virginia, the Floridian congressman Marco Rubio cracked a serious dirty joke on the size of Donald Trump's hands and implied that Trump was not well loaded. He did apologize later and dropped out of the running after two weeks. However, the joke took over the internet. Number 12. Carly Fiorina's Gloomy Campaign Carly Fiorina is not only famous for her extremely short vice presidential run, but for the moment where she tumbled off the stage while her running mate Ted Cruz failed to help her. Yet she will likewise stand out forever as one portion of the world's most exceedingly terrible hand-holding team. Uh. Number 11. Jeb Bush's Clap Request it's just so sad when clumsy previous senator, intimidated and broken by Donald Trump, asked a disappointed group in New Hampshire to please applaud. You truly felt terrible for the lesser known Bush. Please clap. Number 10. Bernie Sanders shushing Hillary. Bernie Sanders was accountable for the most rudimentary minute in the Democratic debate when he literally shushed, or you could say asked Hillary Clinton to shut up during a discussion. This economy, you know. Oh, excuse me, I'm talking. Let him spawn. Ouch. Number nine, Ben Carson shaming a kid. Ben Carson, attempting to demonstrate a point about how anybody could grow up to be a neurosurgeon like him, asked the fifth graders to point out the dumbest kid in the class, and everyone pointed out one poor kid. Number 8. Nobody likes Ted Cruz. In most of Ted Cruz's presidential campaigns, he's been ridiculed a lot. He was criticized by his competitors, voters, his associates, who joked about him getting away with murder, and even his seven-year-old daughter, who he tried to hug. Clearly, nobody likes him. Number 7. Lincoln Chaffee Blaming the Dead Father During a Democratic discussion, when inquired as to why he was assaulting Hillary Clinton's record on Wall Street, yet himself voted for Glass-Steagall Act in 1999, 
Lincoln Chaffee gave the passing of his dad and that it was his first vote as reason. The glass seagull was my very first vote. I just arrived. My dad had died in office. Are you saying you didn't know what you were voting for? Number six, bald eagle attacking Trump. During a photo shoot for Time magazine, a bald eagle attacked Trump. The purpose was to capture cool photos, but oh well, we got the most hilarious reaction ever. Number five, Trump's bigotry-based campaign. Donald Trump fabricated a battle on sexism, fear, xenophobia, and bigotry. He used several social media platforms to deliver a complete non-American message, and his bigotry-based campaign is proof that one can still even win. Contempt on the hard-working American saying that ignorance is pervasive in many parts of this country. Number four, Bernie Sanders damages race relations. During one of Bernie Sanders' campaigns, Black Lives Matter protesters took over the stage and refused to hand over the mic. Sanders' crusade deliberately shut down the occasion and didn't appear to address the crowd. Number three, Chris Christie's hostage situation. Wrongfully embracing Donald Trump for weeks, New Jersey Representative Chris Christie was probably full of regrets. Standing behind Trump as he delivers his victor speech, one can see his face saying, Help! I've been kidnapped! Number 2. Martin O'Malley, One Man Campaign Despite his effort to perform Taylor Swift's Bad Blood for the Ladies of the View show, Baby, now we got bad blood. <laughs> you know it used to be bad blood. He got less than 1% in the Iowa caucus, while just one voter showed up at the campaign of Hawkeye. Our condolences. Number 1. Jim Webb's bragging about killing a guy. It seems like Jim Webb is never good with debates. Instead of killing the speech, he actually bragged about killing a guy. That's not odd at all there, Jim. And with that, it's the end of today's list. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.